Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome back to the Cult of Vintage. Today we are at Goodwill and we are at Goodwill in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. Now I uh, we've been here before, we're going to check it out, we're going to see if we can't find anything. I'm going to say probably more so for resale than a collection, but you never know. Manage expectations, keep them low, that way if you find something, mission accomplished. I'm going to keep it short, we're going to get in here and see if we can't find anything. I'll see you inside. No, actually, I'll see you outside. I'll show you the exterior. Come on. <laughs> All right, guys. So here we are in the exterior. I'm keeping you up high because there's a lot of cars. So I'm going to see if we can't film in here without capturing too many people. I don't want to get anybody's license plate. We're going to head in and check it out. Okay, we're going to start it off with a quick view of this store. Again, this Goodwill isn't the biggest, but jump. I missed the jump. I actually decided to go ahead and start at the end. Um, and at the end, well, I guess it's not the end end. It's the, like, you know, hard good ends in the black aisle. Now, I did see this little bag here. And I thought it was going to be more of like a little satchel. It does seem that it's a crossbody. I actually have a similar one. And a Kenneth Cole, so I was like, mm, not really what I was looking for. So again, we're looking. I did see this piece. Um, you know, it definitely did look modern to me. However, I was like, well, let's just let's take a look. It it was modern. Now I'm going up the other side here. Not a lot to see here. Nothing really caught my eye, but again. It's always important to go down the aisles. You never know. They could have misplaced something or somebody else put something where it didn't belong or I could have found a black item. Who knows? We're going to jump into the blue and green aisle. This is usually one of my more visually appealing aisles to me personally. And I did see this little tea set here, I thought it was very pretty. It did seem to, to come in its original box, so I wanted to check it out. And then it did have the gold Made in China sticker. Now this would be something really good, um, you know, for somebody starting off in a new place, a college student, somebody on a budget. And then I found this baby book and I was like, oh, please don't let there be baby pictures. Okay, we're, we're clean. Could you imagine? <laughs> Somebody's childhood has ended up at the good one. <laughs> Not to say that it probably hasn't happened, but I just haven't found it. And, I, you know, I don't really want to find it. And then it caught my eye. I was like, what is this? And then I flipped it over and I said, Otagiri, this is Otagiri, but is it really? I'm like, no, no. Oh, and it said Otagiri and every piece had its original foil sticker on it. So I decided, I'm like, okay, let me go ahead and see if I can't run a comp on it. So we're gonna cut. And in fact, there is some collectability. There is desirability, I should say, on the secondhand market. Um, yeah, the entire box of the, I'm calling it the Mother Goose Otagiri was $4. So I went and got a cart because we don't believe in getting a cart or a basket until we find that first item. And yes, I did block... <laughs> I did block the aisle because it doesn't seem like it's busy, but it is very busy, and, you know, people were... creeping. So I blocked half the aisle. Now, we did see these interesting pieces... Um, I, you know, again, this is one of those things I kind of was tempted for resale now and then boom. Yeah. Home garden, home, home, <laughs> home goods. Um, but again, I thought they were very visually appealing. Yeah. They're made in China, but you know what? So what? I still think they had a really good look to them. Um, it would fit great into a mid-century decor, um, maybe a little bit more modern of a home. And then I did see this ceramic dog, I thought it was. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. And I picked it up and I was like, oh, it's really heavy. And I saw there was a barcode. I was like, everything is new. But again, 
If you like the aesthetics, it doesn't matter. If you're out shopping for stuff, and again, you're on a budget, a good for a really young adult that's just kind of starting off in a new place, you know, those are great pieces. If you like it kitschy, you know, the dog. We're going to jump here to the other side. I literally, because I usually will, obviously you guys are used to me doing a much more slower, and I will literally pan around, but there was just too many people, and we're going to jump here really to be able to do that, you know, person, they snuck in the frame. Now we are in the brown aisle. I did like the shape of it. It was very simple. It was, it, it had its toe on the art deco line. It didn't quite get there, but the toe was on the line. So I know a lot of people do avoid the brown aisle because they think it's, it's boring or they're never going to find anything much like the black aisle. I have found some really good pieces in, in the brown aisle. Look at this cassette. So I, I would encourage people to go down through the brown aisle. You just, again, you never know what you're going to find. And you'll find nothing if you don't look at the end of the day. Now, truth be told, I mean, I didn't find anything in the brown aisle. <laughs> I still didn't find anything in the brown aisle, but I tried. Mm, that pea pod, kind of like that split nut dish there, that's kind of cute. Again, a really good piece, um, but just not for resale for what I was looking for. And then I did see this brown ceramic duck. It actually is a Japan piece, and it, I believe it was, um, th I can't pronounce this word, Thames or Thymes. So it, it was a Japan piece, so it was vintage. So we're still looking around, and then I see this cute little tin. I typically don't buy tins, um, but lately I have been checking them out. I do know that there is a lot of desirability on the pieces, but then something caught my eye. Yes, indeed. Did I find him or did he find me? It was Jesus. He was here all along. It is a vintage paint by number. He has risen, folks. Those eyes, they're staring into my soul. I was raised in the Catholic Church. I touched it. I couldn't put it back because the Catholic guilt is real. <laughs> so I did get him. <laughs> now I am making a run through on the green side. Um, I'm giving you the reality of the way that I film. So I, you know, I guess aesthetically it would have made more sense if I put this back in with the blue, but this is literally how I went. Um, and then I did find this piece. This is, um, Royal, it is, is it Royal China? I believe, but it is Francais. Unfortunately, there was just, you know, I... There was substantial damage to the piece, so it did get left behind. It is unfortunate um, that it has survived this long, and I, I hate to say it, but I think with that amount of damage, it's probably going to end up in the bins if it survives even that long. Um, and it, it's pretty sad to see those kinds of things, because it is part of history. Now, this is actually uh, Royal Sealy. I know that they have had, there's a number of pieces that do go with this collection. This one does still have its stamp on it. Um, there is candlesticks, there's a console bowl. The market is not great on these. I, I did leave it behind, shockingly. I was in a rush to get to the Isle of Passion. Um, but the Royal Sealy, unfortunately, while it was $7, you probably, you know, hey, at the end of the day, you could probably have gotten 21 Um So again, there was money on it, but it just, it was a question of, did I want to risk making that money? Now, you guys know that I love the trashy stuff, and then I saw this plastic perfume air freshener, and you know... You know, I was like, fairy lamp, but what? I had to open it. I had to. Boom. Look at that thing. Oh my God. It is so bad. That is trashy. I, it's not trash-tastic. I'm sorry. It's not. It's just straight up trashy. <laughs> and I loved it because of it. 100% um, plastic. True tea. 
Um, I was like, but do I want to get it? I was really debating this, you guys. And then I decided I, you know, um, I wanted you guys to still like me. So I, in fact, did put it back in the box. Thumbs up. I, I, you know, even though we're at Goodwill, that's no reason to check your manners at the door, folks. I didn't buy it. So it's not mine to treat it how I want to. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really not finding a whole lot in the passion aisle. It was disappointing. We did get a good laugh. I think the plastic lamp was, it was kind of, I don't know. I, I might regret having left that behind. I'm not, not going to lie. Oh, Ace True Value. What do you see? A glass apple. And I pick it up and I knew immediately the second I picked it. Yeah. The weight, it was too light. There should have been a little bit, not, it, not like it was like made out of stone or anything, but it was very light. Um, so I did leave it behind though. Again, another cute piece for somebody on a budget. And I do Want to check out the clear glass quickly. There isn't a whole lot of it today. It is pretty standard so far as what you see in clear glass. And I think that is especially why a lot of people stay away from the clear glass sections is because this is what you see. And people are like, oh, I never find anything. But hey, the last time and the last time at this Goodwill, I did find an antique piece of glass. Um, it was, as I came to find out, it was a spooner. So you would put your teaspoon, your, your literal, your iced tea spoons in them. And I'm going to double check the basket or the wicker area. And that is our cart there. So I'm very proud of myself. And I'm panning around here at the end caps. This is where it gets difficult to film because I can't really see around the edge. And I, again, I just don't like capturing people. And then I do see this lovely silver swan beehive, 1971, to Alvaresta and somebody. I don't know. It was obviously a hobbyist piece. You know what, Michael? You really should have gotten this. This could have been dressed up. Didn't it look like I was going to get it? I didn't. I fooled even myself. I was like, did I get it? No. <laughs> I was like, wait, maybe I did buy it. I don't remember it. I didn't. I didn't. I left it there. I should have gotten it. I should have. So I'm keeping the camera down because, you know, I don't want to record randos. But you guys, that is it. We just found the two pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up outside. Well, that was Goodwill in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. Um, it was crowded. It always makes for an interesting filming experience. We did not find a lot, but I am happy. I'm very pleased with the two things that we did find. The Otagiri, I'm calling it the Mother Goose tea set. Um, at $4, I'm really excited to see, because I'm going to start that like at 20 bucks for the entire set, you know? So if it goes higher than that, awesome. If it doesn't, I think somebody got a really good deal and I made some money on it. So bonus and we found Jesus I mean after 42 years I guess maybe it's time isn't it <laughs> and he was at Goodwill who knew anyhow guys I hope you did enjoy it I know it's a short video and the Goodwills typically are shorter so until next time remember keep it rusty keep it crusty and keep it dusty bye guys